Okay, first off, a couple of quick pros and cons on the Lily Next Gen drone. Uh, the biggest con is it is advertised as having a 4K camera and as having electronic image stabilization, and those are both true statements, but you don't get both at the same time. If you turn on the electronic image stabilization, it crops the picture down to a, a 1980p uh, or 1980 by 1280p uh, full HD um, video, which is pretty good, uh, but it's not 4K video. If you want the 4K video, you get an unstabilized, uh, very large wide angle fisheye view. Uh, so if you really need 4K video, this is simply not the drone for you, and you can stop watching this video now. Uh, the image stabilization is fair. It's not nearly as good as the Parrot Bebop. It's not nearly as good as a mechanical gimbal like you would see on a, uh, on a Mavic or a Phantom or a Unique drone. Uh, I suspect that they'll be able to update this with software updates and improve this. Um, you cannot aim the camera up or down. It is a fixed, I'd say about 15, ang 15 degree downward angle, and that's it. Uh, so if you uh, can't see your subject, you're going to have to go higher, lower, move, move the drone forward or back. You can't pan the uh, uh, image at all. Um, that's part of the electronic stabilization system. Again, perhaps someday they'll have a, uh, 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 a software update for that. Um, so those are, are the biggest cons. Oh, and there's no RC controller. You have to control it from your phone or your tablet. Uh, there is supposed to be an iOS app. I haven't found it yet on the um, App Store. Uh, but uh, that is supposed to be coming. Uh, pros, very small, easily packable. Uh, the little uh, soft nylon case that the drone itself comes in does not have a belt loop or a place to attach a carabiner, but I think you could just take a soldering iron and put a hole in the thing and hook up a carabiner with yourself with no problem. Uh, the batteries are nice and small. Uh, reasonable flight time, looks like about 15 minutes or so. Very quick, very good GPS clone uh, acquisition. Uh, by the time you get the uh, Wi-Fi hooked up, uh, it's ready to go in an open area at least without Wi-Fi interference. Um, it, it is controlled by Wi-Fi, so there's some limitation of the range. When I flew this morning, I got out 200 meters before I lost range. This afternoon when I went out, I got over, to, uh, it was less cloudy. Uh, I don't know if that affects it or not, but I got over 300 meters of range. That was in a rural, clear area, no trees in the way, no buildings or anything like that. Uh, it's extremely stable in wind. It really holds itself steady. Um, it's a very easy setup. Uh, I tried flying it indoors, and it does a few funny things there. Uh, and I hit the wall a couple of times, quite durable when it fell from about 10 feet, really no damage. Uh, a couple little bends in the ends of the propeller, I just put it back, but it comes with an extra set of propellers and propeller mounts. Uh, one other thing that's worth mentioning, the one-touch landing button is a combination return to home and landing. So when you touch that button, it doesn't land where it is. It first returns to home at the altitude you had it at, uh, or a minimum of about three meters. If you fly it under three meters, it will go up to three meters. Then it will return to home, then it will land. So if you have something between you and the drone, uh, or excuse me, between its takeoff point and the drone, and you hit return to home, it will fly into that object. Uh, so if you want to land in place, just push the left stick down, uh, and it will come down to the ground, keep holding it, and the propellers will shut off. Um, it has automatic return to home with Wi-Fi interrupted. Uh, it's very fast. If the Wi-Fi is interrupted for about two seconds, it starts to return to home. Uh, if you're at any distance, though, for example, 200 to 300 meters, you can reacquire the um, uh, Wi-Fi connection and then re-pilot uh, the drone. So this uh, simply does not compare to a Mavic. It doesn't have 4K stabilized video. It doesn't have the flight time. It doesn't have the range. It compares somewhat to the Spark. Uh, I paid $500. I think it's more now than its retail as opposed to the crowdfunding. Uh, an interesting little drone. I think I'll use it just because of its portability. It's easy enough to throw into a suitcase. Not quite something you could put in your pocket unless you have cargo pants. Uh, but uh, it's certainly something you could throw literally in your glove box in your car and just have ready. Uh, the charging is reasonably rapid. Uh, uh, so it's, it's an interesting drone. Uh, I, I think all in all, I kind of like my Parrot Bebop 2 a little bit better, uh, but this one is a bit more portable and handles high wind better. Uh, let's get to the flight videos. Okay, so we're going to set up the Lily for a flight. So we unfold all four arms, put down the four landing gear, turn it on. Go. While that's going on, I'll start the uh, app on the phone. There we go. Okay. And I need to uh, 
Now I need to do a tap on the Wi-Fi icon. Oh, there we go, turn on Wi-Fi. And I've already connected to this drone before, and there's no other Wi-Fi out here, so it's picking up pretty quickly. Drone has been connected, so now I can just go back to the app. And it's not actually showing the video. I've seen this before. So I'm going to take get out of the app, restart the app, hit start, and now I've got video connected. So I don't know why it does that. We're just going to move this for a second. Car coming. So one of the things is in the time that we've done this, it says GPS location successful and we have 15, 13 uh, satellites already. So there's one button takeoff. The one button land is actually a combination of return to home and land. Uh, it's a little bit breezy, but let's take off and see what we can do. Are you sure you want to take off? Confirm, and here we go. And that's it. So we'll get some height. It's going to pull up the trees. Go up to about 25 meters. Okay, that's about 25 meters. That's actually a little bit tall. And you can see it's really holding itself pretty steady. The one real problem is you can't aim the video down. Um, let's do a uh, 360 degree orbit here. So we'll do that. We'll, go over here. we'll hit 360 degrees. I'm going to skip that. that. Now you drag the drone to the height that you want and the radius that you want. We're well above the trees, so we can do that. The drone's now going to move backwards uh, to the radius that we preset, and now I can start it. And, and it'll start circling us. You can't, even though it's centered over us, you can't see us because of the um, because the camera angle doesn't go down enough. But again, it's, it's rather breezy right now, and the drone is really holding itself steady. So I'm a little happy with that. And it's going to go one revolution and stop. That's what it'll do. Okay, so that'll stop once it gets to its uh, initial point. There it is, and it's just hovering there. and it comes out of the 360 mode. I'm actually going to tap return to home just to get it over us again. There it goes. Once it's over its starting point, and it usually lands within about three feet of where it started. Now it's coming down. I'm going to stop that. And let's rotate it a little bit. Um, there we go. And we'll do a little bit of a range test. So it says it's at 22.9 meters. Zero meters distance. Let's go. There we go. So there's no trees between me and the drone. Uh, I did this earlier today. I got out to about 200 meters before it stopped. Of course, I'll post this video in a little bit. Off it goes. Okay, that's about 100 meters. Still getting reasonably good video feed. There's 150, still getting good video feed. Uh, I'm going to stop it there for just a second and show that I can climb. Let's climb up a bit. Go to about 35. Now let's keep going forward. 175 meters. There's 200. I've still got control. Go a little farther. 
but in any minute now it's going to stop the video output. Huh? Maybe I'm lying. 225. 250. There we go. And it just kind of uh, blinked out. Let's see. Now I still have control. That's 300 meters. Wow, this is much better than this morning. And it just stopped. And actually, if you look there, that stop sign came up. That means it lost Wi-Fi connection. There you go. And it is uh, it is returning itself to home. Now, based on the GPS signal of where it started. So we'll get, uh, again, it's, it's almost 350 meters out. It's not the fastest drone, but it's very steady. I don't like the fact that I can't aim the lens down. Okay, that's fine. She's giving me that. Should be coming back, but it'll take a little bit. So let me do this. There we go. And let's get that. And we'll get the settings. Connected. Well, it says it's connected now. So, it has been connected. And there it is. It's at 100 meters. So it's coming back. I just had to reconnect it. There it is. You can see it uh, up there, up in the tree. So we're just going to let it land on its own. It's at 65% battery now. It's flying for these few minutes. Like I said, we're going to let it auto land. We'll do a little tracking in a minute. Sixty percent battery. Now I don't know why it did that little jog. So it's landing, I would say, at least ten feet away from where it started. Okay. 